good YouTube? This your boy J Diggy92, aka Finesse God. Welcome back to another episode of Finesse Kicks. And today, as y'all can see, we talking about Yeezy 350 boost. We got the Beluga V2 Jones, man. And so let's go ahead and dive straight into this review. Get this shit cracking. I'm tired as hell right now, man. It is currently 12.30, nigga, midnight, nigga, a.m. But I had to do this. Um, so first off, we got to shout out the homies over at GOAT. Now look, I know it's a shocker. I'm talking about GOAT because if you watch the Young One review, I kind of was on that fuck GOAT type shit. Don't fuck with them niggas. Like, them niggas can eat a dick type shit. So, hear me say this. Y'all probably like, nigga, you full of shit. I ain't watching your shit no more. The fuck is you talking about? You a reneging ass nigga. And blah, 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 blah. So, look. We gonna talk about the shoe. But I really don't need to talk about the shoe. So we're going to talk about why I went back to GOAT and fucking with GOAT. And why I'm probably going to fuck with GOAT more than ever. But uh, first off, we got to tell you the price. Because I ain't going to fake. My man kind of got finessed when he sold these jumps to me. Alright, so y'all know a retail pair of Yeezys, right? Retail. Retail price, well, on V2s, it's 220 right? $220, nigga. On GOAT, I only paid 305 and that's with shipping included. So, really, it was 290 for real. So, 290 for a pair of V2s. That's only $70 more dollars compared to usually what it probably would have been if I bought these brand new. Brand new, they wanted like 400, and that's on stock X. So, these are used. Nigga, you can't tell. Like, bro, when I, if y'all seen the unboxing, when I opened these and I actually looked, I was like, this nigga is dumb as fuck. Because this shoe looks, after cleaning it, this shoe look brand fucking new. Like, even the bottoms ain't even got that much dirt, nigga. Hopefully the B-roll popped up and y'all seen that. Like, this is crazy because I damn near got a pair of brand new Yeezys for $290, $300. When usually, you gonna pay double what retail is. Now, I mean, I know Yeezy prices is kind of like, I ain't gonna say decreasing, but the, the wave for Yeezys ain't even that hype no more. Shit, them, them all brown 700 sat for grip. Nigga, them shits was in my cart for damn near a week, and I just ain't want them because them bitches look ashy as fuck. But, so, I don't know if it's because the Yeezy hype is down or what, but yo, you can't really beat it. So, look, so look, we gonna talk about current prices. So for V2 Belugas, right? V2 Beluga price on GOAT. They want. Damn. Alright, so GOAT brand new. I'm gonna do 11 through 12. Brand new, size 11, 455. Size 11 and a half, 435. And size 12 is 415. Now, I'm going to do use the lowest to uh, high. And these jumps is looking dumb low. Again, um, size 11 is 280, 11 and a half, 290, and a size 12 is 270. Now, you just got to be sure you look at these pictures and read like the conditions and shit because sometimes they be missing like insoles and all this other shit but like 
like this pair of size 12s for 280 they don't look bad whatsoever they, they damn near could pass for dead stock when you clean them so that's on go um, let's head over to stock x really quick to see what they want um, They want brand new size 11, 422, 11 and a half, 420, and the size 12 is 405. It's not too far from GOAT. Uh, like I said, I got these used. So, I mean, I kind of came up because these look new. I'm not really tripping. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's the shoe prices in the. Yeah, I think for Beluga V2s and Yeezys in general, you're, you're going to get some steals because they keep restocking and everything else. So, I, I think, I don't know if the Yeezy market is dead. I wouldn't say dead, but I think it's it's dying because of Kanye being Kanye. But that's another <laughs> topic for another day. Look, I'm not going to go over the whole shoe. Y'all know Yeezy. Um, and if you don't, or if you have questions, leave in the comment section below. Um, like I said, I go half a size up. So these are size 12. Um, I wear an 11 and a half in Jewel 1. So I went up to size 12. Adidas is size 12 for me. Point blank period. Always with a size 12 in Adidas. From now on, size 12. That's all I, I'll buy. I'm not going lower. Unless I really have to, or I really want to shoot and they don't have a size 12. Um, but yeah, size 12, so we got the size and shit out the way. Um, and if you have any questions about this shoe, just leave it in the comment section. But look, GOAT, man, they had to do something extraordinary for me to start fucking with them again. Y'all know that. And they kind of did. So, y'all watched the unboxing, y'all heard the story on these and how I almost didn't get these, which. Shout out to the big homie Jesus, because <laughs> I was praying my ass off. But um, look, bro, like, I almost didn't get them. So once I saw that these wasn't in my mailbox, they wasn't on my porch, I kind of hit up GOAT with the swiftness. It was a, it was a Sunday. Nigga, it was Veterans Day. I was not expecting anybody to respond. Nigga, they responded in like 10 minutes, if that. Nigga, it might have been five. Like, they responded so quick, I almost didn't see it because I didn't expect the response that quick. So, like, they hit me up. I First, originally, I reported I had an issue with the shoe. Then, um, they emailed me and told me to tell them what the issue was. Told them what the issue was that I never got it. Then somebody from they, I guess, department like I spoke with a legit person I spoke with like three different people in a matter of two days which was fucking dope so um he hit me um and was just like yo what's up um I hate to hear about this did you check like he asked me did I check with like the neighbors and for me to verify that this was the correct address on fire so did all that told him my check nobody seen it and that's the correct address my man instantly filed a claim with like their insurance company so like he didn't even question this shit he was like all right bet i'm filing a claim and uh you'll hear from somebody within 48 hours the next day he hit wake up to an email from goat saying all right so we sent the claim to the department they wanted um, to our insurance department. They just want you to fill out. Let me let me read this to make sure, cause I feel like I'm forgetting a part. But man, Goat really looked out for me. Yo. Like it was, it's crazy because I didn't expect him to. So look, I said yeah, the address is correct. They escalated the ticket. And it said within 48 hours I should hear something. Next day, um, dude hit me. Said I put in the mission package claim 
with the insurance company and uh, they wanted me to fill out an affidavit. I'm pretty sure that was just so they have it on file, like just in case this we find out the nigga did get the shoe. Like, you sign this, like you, you owe us bread because I'm pretty sure they was gonna refund me with the quickness because they was responding with the quickness. Luckily, um, I've, the shoe popped up on my, um, on my porch just magically, which I'm pretty sure it was the nigga that door I knocked on that didn't respond to me. Fuck that nigga. Made me talk to his ass through the door. Pretty sure it was him that delivered the shit. So, uh, it's cool. I got my shoes, but I hit gold up instantly, man. And it was just like, all right, cool. I'm just glad you got the shoes and, uh, enjoy your purchase type shit, man. That's the only reason I'm fucking with gold again. Cause I was like, them niggas really looked out. Like I felt like they really actually cared. Like that I didn't get the shoe and they just wasn't like, damn, that sucks. Post office said they delivered it, so ain't nothing we can do. It was just like they was really about to like refund me and see what the fuck happened. So that's pretty much why I fuck with Go. Now I don't I haven't had any problems with stock X and I pray I don't have any problems with packages from here on because I'm definitely about to get this P.O. box popping. But um Shouts out to the people at GOAT, man. I, I, I'm about to read these niggas' names off because I really had like three different people I spoke to. So, first off, shout out to the homie Lester D. Then my nigga Julio. And then I, it felt like it was one more person, but it wasn't. So, shouts out to y'all too, man, because y'all y'all really helped, helped me out. And uh, I, I truly appreciate it because... I, I felt like shit, man. <laughs> I was so depressed. Nigga, I had just lost $300 and ain't know if I was going to get that shit back or not. So, hey, man. Shouts out to GOAT. Shouts out to the Beluga V2s. I know this wasn't much of a review, but um, I really don't need to talk about the shoe. I mean, I'll give y'all, like, my thoughts and opinions on it. It's nice. Do I like these over the original Belugas? The more I have them in my hand, yeah, because the orange is more subtle instead of that bright ass strip. And it's more gray than it is orange. Like I could, I feel like I could find more shit to wear with this. Like gray shoe with a splash of orange than a gray and orange shoe. Like, so I could finesse a lot of colors with this and a lot of different things. So that's why I like this one over uh, the version one, so to say. Um, and plus, I, I really think I'm, I'm really fucking with this just because of the story behind it. Um, because I'm, I'm kind of liking these over my zebras to keep it a hundo with you. And I don't know if I should really feel that way because the zebras are hard as hell. And these, like, I don't know. I think it's just because I really felt like I wasn't gonna get this damn shoe. So, um, just having it makes it like more special and we makes me more appreciative of it but it's, I think it's also because the condition that I got it in like I said oh dude whoever you are the God just finessed your ass and you really played yourself because you damn near let a pair of dead stock shoes go for a little over retail you really could have got more than what you uh what you wanted so uh, maybe you were just being a good sport. Maybe you was just like, I don't, I don't want these. I'm not fucking with Yeezys. Um, I'm not fucking with Kanye. I mean, I know a lot of people been on that wave, so um, that might be it. But hey, man, I appreciate it. To God, appreciate it, man, because this, this wasn't even a steal, nigga. This was a finesse. Like, <laughs> this wasn't a steal. It was a finesse, bro. So. Um, I really appreciate that shit. Um, but yeah, man, uh, I'm rapping the Beluga V2s Yeezy 350 Boost, man, size 12. Um, it's dumb clean. I don't know if y'all 
y'all could really tell in the unboxing, but the only problems with it was it was a little bit of dirt on the, the motherfucking outsole, which I cleaned. <laughs> like, I don't know if dude was like, man, these joints are ruined. Like, it's just dirt everywhere. It's clean. Because I don't know why people just don't like cleaning their shoes. It's like, it's not that hard. It takes like all the two minutes if you do it right. Like, and two minutes is if you're spending a long time cleaning. Like, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Like, I don't know the reason he let these go, but I appreciate him for letting these go for that low price. So, I'm going to go ahead and get y'all up out of here, man. Beluga V2s. This has been your boy, JD92, the finesse god. Nigga, the finesse part really came in on this one. And um, just be on the lookout for that one feet. I want to thank y'all for watching. So go ahead and smack that thumbs up button. Hit that like and subscribe so you can join the motherfucking God Squad. Y'all already know it's the best squad on YouTube. Um, I'm not sure when this video came out. So just go watch my other videos. I think the vlog should be out right now. I was having dumb problems with it. Like, nigga, that bitch uploaded so damn slow. In three hours, it had only uploaded 20%. I don't know if it because it was long or because it was like 4K or whatnot. I'm trying out this new 4K shit to see if they even like it or see a difference. So, I don't know if the vlog is out. But if it is, the thumbnail should have popped up. Um, so, go, go support that. Um... The Acid House Young Ones, it should have been dropped. Um, go watch that and that unboxing, which was fire. And I, I love that damn shoe. Can't wait to rock that bitch for real, for real. Um, so go watch that. And I think I got one more um, clothing type review coming out. I haven't really spoken on it, but um, actually, it's a Fashion Nova men's review. I did. I picked up a lot of clothes from them, and uh, I just want to talk about it as a brand, as a whole. And then uh, I got one more possible clothing review coming, uh, just because I wanted to test the waters. Because I keep seeing the site, but uh, I haven't really. I've been hearing mixed reviews, so I want to get in hands myself and uh, talk about it. So uh, y'all might see one talking about Zayful, the clothing company, um, and yeah, man, I'm plugging a lot of damn videos and ideas and all this shit, but I gotta get y'all up out of here, I be ranting, and I be going on tangents and shit, but yeah, um, this, I just wanted to let y'all know what's coming up next, and uh, yeah, man, shout out to GOAT, um, you wanna follow me on anything, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snaps, and Snapchat, all of that, at jdiggy92, shout out to the art page, Finesse God Masterpieces, that Stan Lee painting is coming if it hasn't arrived already. So just be on the lookout on the art page um, for that because he's definitely getting a painting. That's that's all on mothers. Like Stan Lee is going up on my wall somewhere. But um, so yeah, man. Cop some dope art. And uh, this has been your boy J Diggy 92 the Finesse God. Another episode of Finesse Kicks. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. And uh, like I always say, I will see y'all when I see y'all.